So I've had the Jadet 2 for a couple of weeks now since I decided to sell my old one and dive in on the upgrade. And whilst I haven't explored the Euclidean rhythms that much or some of the other new features, um, I have gone and made a couple of jungle tunes on it. And so I think I've now uh, explored this device enough to hopefully give people some good insight into what it's all about. Okay, so I'm going to start with the good stuff and I've really been loving a lot of the new updates in this Digitact. And the first one for me is actually the stereo samples is a bit of a game changer because uh, I love to make sort of 90s style atmospheric jungle and they uses a lot of pads and kind of lush wide sounds and when you threw these into the old Digitact they would sort of get um, swallowed up a little bit in mono so having stereo samples actually makes this more of an all round uh, sampler for me and not just an experimental drum machine like the last one was. additional 64 steps to bring you up to 128 now so it's got four extra pages uh, and she makes a huge difference to me I think on the old one you always had to do loads of trick conditions and extra little tricks and then and then also perform with the Digitac loads to actually get a, a nice rolling groove that wasn't repetitive but actually now you don't have to do so much of this extra stuff and like, I've never programmed with that much randomness I like a little bit but not too much and so now I can actually use this a lot more like I do uh, renoise or, or in, in my door and actually just program what I want to hear and um, with little touches of random here and there so I've really been liking the extra um, four pages and to go along with that probably the biggest uh, game-changing feature I found anyway on this digital is actually the page loop it's just amazing so before you would have to listen to the patterns like whipping round and round just to hear a trim condition on the last um, page and it was just exhausting listening to seven bars to hear the last one um, and so on this one, what's so cool is if you've set trick conditions on the last page, you can just loop that one. And then on the second or third repetition of that page, you can hear the loop repetition. So you can build much bigger sequences without getting exhausted uh, listening to the same thing over and over again. So that that for me has been just a, a, like a functional thing that's been amazing uh, in the Digitac 2. 
To access this page looping, uh, you very simply just put it in record mode, then hold page, and then you can select which pages you want to loop up. Uh, and then in this example in my tune, on the last page, um, the eighth page, so you should have to listen to the whole thing to get here, I can actually just loop this page. And then you can see some of these trig conditions are two out of two, so they're going to play on the second repetition, and I can hear them by just looping this page. which is just amazing. Like that for me has, has almost made the Digitac 2 worth it. And I can't believe they've took so long to implement this feature. Um, it's really been changing the game for me actually uh, in this device. The chorus, is, as you can probably hear, sounds amazing and is a very welcome addition, uh, which is great on pads and vocals and things like that. Um, and I actually love that they've put in uh, this portamento feature as well. Um, and another thing I've been using at, and use a lot on my Digitone is if you come into the setup, you can now modulate uh, uh, the mod wheel and pitch bend so you can set up things and create really expressive patches, or I think they call them uh, presets on here. Um, and so this will hopefully mean people, I think people had a problem routing uh, modulation and pitch wheel information through the Digitact, uh, so that should all be sorted now. So lots of great new features there. The addition of the master overdrive, which obviously pairs up with the uh, compressor that was already in there, um, is actually a really good feature because you can get quite a fat sound straight out of the box now. Um, and people often say about the Digitac that it doesn't have a sound. I read it online and I don't agree with that at all. It might not have as much color as something like the Akai does, um, but I definitely think everything I'm making, this Digitac has a sort of um, feel to it and so I I would disagree with them and I would say the Digitac does actually have quite a distinct tone. I would say a lot more than most of the other samplers like the machine, uh, the more modern samplers you use, I definitely feel the Digitac does colour things in a certain way. Um, maybe it's running it through all the, the overdrive and the effects in there but I definitely feel um, it has a sound to it and I for one really like it. The Digitac 2 really benefits from all the things the first one did being a beautiful little creative box that ideas just burst out of. In addition to that, it overcomes one of my biggest gripes with the first one, and that was that it was good to have ideas in, but it was really hard to flesh out full tunes in. And I know they introduced a song mode with the, with the updates in the old one, but actually the page loop function and the 128 steps, those two things combined makes it way more enjoyable and just easier mentally to kind of get through and build that proper arrangements in. Okay, so you've had all the good and now it's time for some of the bad things. Now, probably the biggest thing for me, making uh, drum and bass and hip hop and like, like in a chop up drum breaks, is not having a proper slice function. It blows my mind that this is a 900 pound sampler. Uh, that doesn't even have a, the functions that like a, my old Akai does from the 90s. It's like actually bonkers. And yes, you can get around this problem. And I will show you later on in this video um, using digi chains and a few tricks, you can pretty much emulate what it would be to have a slice function. But the fact that they've left out and made you go through all of this extra work really rattles me a little bit actually if I'm being honest um, and I love Electron I love their ethos as a company and I love this device but for me uh, the missing out the slice function just because it makes the um, Octatrack a little bit obsolete or whatever their reasoning for it was um, I think is, is a big mistake and hopefully they will fix that um, with an update. The other thing I was really hoping they were going to include was actually being able to zoom in um, in this sample editor here and 
this is just one of those things where yes you can use your ears and it's probably very very beneficial uh, to force people to use their ears and not their eyes as much but I do find sometimes I just want to have the precision when I'm putting in loop points um, and when I'm chopping up a vocal I just want to be able to see where the actual um, thing starts uh, so I do find it quite annoying still having this kind of stripped back uh, vision of the waveform and not being able to actually zoom in and see precisely what's happening. Overall my experience with the Digitac 2 has actually been a really positive one and yes I have some gripes with the slice function and a few other bits and bobs but I've been loving the new update and they've really turned it into more of an all round sampler now with these new features um, than it was before and so I really look forward to including it more and more in my workflow. My biggest problem with the Digitech 2 though is that even though they've included all these amazing updates and it is legit a really amazing device, it still forces you to go into an audio editor to chop up your samples or into a door to slice your breaks properly and so to maximise this potential you're still having to do a lot of work outside of the device and I just think with a few of these extra touches and maybe if we get together uh, and ask Electron nicely they might just give us a proper audio editor and a, and a proper slice function for the breaks it will really make it a 10 out of 10 hardware sampler.